well, it's never too late to have gratitude. Hi, welcome to the gratitude list of the day. I'm Reverend Sully, Eric O'Sullivan, ordained on the internet on the 31st of March, 1998, 10 minutes before April Fool's Day, my Irish grandfather's favorite holiday. So that's like my sense of humor and my sense of seriousness too. I would not have done this 10, 11 minutes after that, no. But so close to April Fool's Day. So people can say, are you serious, Sully? You're an ordained minister. Yes. From the Universal Life Church of Modesto, California. On the internet. Of course. Kind of like Reverend Jim Ignatowski of the classic TV sitcom Taxi, played by Christopher Lloyd. I'm just full of references, and I'm full of jokes, and I'm full of in-jokes. I love that stuff. I'm very layered like an onion, and I smell like one, too. Ha <laughs> ha! How are you today? Let's get some gratitude. I am grateful for my family, my friends, my faith, my freedom, my, my health, my union job, and a good night's sleep. And from there, I elaborate. It's Wednesday. It's new comic book day, so I'm on my way. Hey, Burb. <laughs> I'm on my way to the comic book shop. I'm on my way to the bank to drop off my, my bills. And my, uh, well, my flatmates part to the bills. I pay the bills, and they pay me. The bills are always paid. I'm on, way, on my way. I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful to have flatmates. Who keep the place tidy? Who respect everyone else's stuff? Who pay their bills on time? Who are just, you know, grown-ups living with grown-ups? It's out there. I am also going to the post office to drop off the, men, the rent in the mail. I'm blessed with, with I live in a three bedroom, got two flatmates, makes things cheaper. Grownups live like this, you know, if you can't, if you can't afford it, living, living alone is expensive. It really is. Unless you have a job that I'm a blue collar dude, union chef. I think I mentioned that, but drop off the rent in the mail, you know? I'm blessed to have roommates that pay their rent and blessed to have a landlord that respects that hey they're clean tenants and they pay their rent on time and they have no problems with them you know we've got new neighbors here and there but new people always take a little like getting used to you nothing a little respect can't solve and if it's not mutual then there are always way to negotiate agreements isn't there Ah, what a beautiful day. Well, it's cloudy, it's humid, almost 80 degrees Fahrenheit. It's about 11.58 a.m. So it's still the morning. So it's still the morning gratitude list. Ain't that cute? Oh, look, you stopping for me. Thank you so much. Awesome, thank you. Well, they're going for a red light anyway, so. <laughs> so yeah, and I'm grateful for comic books for having a sense of escapism, for having some escapism, for having an imagination, for having stories to you know, dive into, to having imaginary worlds to inhabit, to leave behind this world's woes just for a few moments in a day. So much so, we talk about comic books every day at 3 p.m. U.S. Eastern on this very channel. Join us. Ha ha ha. But it's new comic book day, so I'm going to go get some new comic books. I'm also peckish. I'm going to get some mozzarella sticks at a pub, at, at, at my town square's pub. With a, it's an Irish pub with, some, with one pint of Guinness. You know, don't take it too far. But, you know, and read my comic books at the bar. I'm so grateful and blessed for all of that. You know, there are so many things out there to worry about, to not be grateful about. And... Just, I guess our, our it's like a Qui-Gon Jinn, the, the Jedi Master, episode one of Star Wars, the Phantom Menace said, your, your, your focus determines your reality. That's great. I love movie quotes. I love pithy wisdoms that come from movies. I love movie quotes. I love Star Wars. I love Star Trek, too. I'm grateful for both Star Wars and Star Trek. I'm full of gratitude. I'm, full, I am, I'm very blessed. You noticed... This is our usual gratitude list spot as well. The Broadway Bridge. Here at my, uh, here at my, uh, you know, my usual walk to work. And, uh, 
Oh boy, I'm have to walk past Kelly's Diner. And I'm hungry. Maybe I should eat there and not be tempted by a, a midweek hump day pint to Guinness or two. Because two pints, you know, I, well, you can make the choice. Be a grown-up and just fucking go home. Or be an alcoholic and go to the liquor store and drink yourself asleep again. You know, hey, singing along the Led Zeppelin 3 is still fun. I know. Oh, wow, it's back in there. That's great. Happiness to me for uh, being a chef is a, is, a, is a busy restaurant. That's good stuff. That's wonderful. And I hope you're having a good day. And I hope you're clobbering your problems and not being clobbered by them. And, um, yeah, but for me, I've noticed that's like an intrinsic choice. It really is. you got to stand up to your own self-talk. you got to curate your own self-talk. You, you, you curate your timeline. As much as you curate your timeline on your social media, bullshit trickles in. Not safe for work images trickle in. Things that you might object to come to a um, come to your come to your timeline. Hello, hello. And um, it's like the same thing in your mind with your self-talk and your thoughts. Seriously. Like, just some just nasty stuff is just gonna trickle in. Aha! Thank you. And as we love to say, as we always say, we're grateful for the bus. We're grateful for the bus and the bus driver and the Carmen's Union. And we're also grateful for the transit association that is, you know, you know, slowing everything down for safety's sake. So as we like to say, bus, bus, bus! Bus, bus, bus! That's right, we haven't said that in months. Bus, bus, bus. Bus, bus, bus. Bus, bus, bus. There we go. The bus call. <laughs> and I hope you're having a great day. I hope you're clobbering your problems and not being clobbered by them. And, um, you know, gratitude works. It's giving me purpose. Yeah, I live in America. Many voices, many people. The melting pot. I still believe in that. Very grateful for America. I hope everyone else is. <laughs> I mean, if we're such a bad place, then why are people still killing to get in here? Eh? Yeah, exactly, huh? Exactly. <laughs> well, that's about it. I mean, gee. This is like the usual walk to work. In. Hey, it's 4.48 in the a.m. And I am full of gratitude. Well, yeah, I mean, it's the same walk in the daytime. Walking to my village square. And uh, <laughs> it's been great. Well, thank you so very much for hanging out with me for a couple of minutes. We're talking gratitude, purpose. This can help you. I suffer from the chronic mopies, the chronic angries, and the chronic uh, lonelies. And I have all my life. And I have to be able to run my mood, or my mood will run me. And I'm so grateful and blessed for that wisdom that came from within after a lifetime of seeking. This gratitude list has been the most helpful tool in that coping mechanism. It's given me clarity to see purpose. It's given me perspective. These are all invaluable things for a human to have. Strive earnestly. Yes. Cheers. God bless. Namaste. Good luck. We will see you again with more gratitude later. And please like and subscribe. I would love to earn your subscription. We are a growing channel. We talk about spirituality, purpose. I'm a chef. We talk about cooking a lot. And we cover comic books. That's right. We love comic books here. 3 p.m. U.S. Eastern Daily. We talk about comic books just for a few minutes in your day. Take a coffee break together at our comics coffee table. All right, we'll see you later. Cheers, bye-bye.